This is how to replace your skateboard bearings right now. So the first thing we have to do is remove the wheel nut so we can take off the wheel spacer and then lift up the wheel a little bit so we can peel the bearing right out. After you take out the other bearing, take a new bearing, place it on the truck and press it in. But make sure before you press in the other side that you put in the bearing spacers. Now all we have to do is put the spacer back on there, tighten the wheel nut, but make sure you leave a little bit of wiggle room so the wheel can spin. So what is the difference between a front side and a backside board slide? Well, when you approach the rail for a backside board slide, the rail is behind you so it's facing your backside. So when you're doing a front side board slide, the rail is in front of you facing your front side. This is why every skater should carpet board. Carpet boarding can really help you figure out how shove tricks works because there's a lot less fear involved and they're a lot easier to spin versus a regular board. Carpet boarding is a lot less scary than a regular board because it's lower to the ground, a lot more stable, and it's really hard to slip out. This is why you can't heel flip. So when you bend down, you naturally put more weight on your toes than your heels so the board wants to fly behind you. So to fix that, when you bend down, try to keep the board as even as possible and then the board will stay under you a lot easier. This is the secret to skating fakie. So when you're skating fakie, you want to go a little bit faster than you usually do because you're going to have to pop earlier to be able to clear whatever you're trying to get over. If you're having trouble learning how to kickflip, practice with just landing with your front foot and then toss it in the grass and do a half flip, focusing on landing with both your feet on the board before you take it all the way. Did you know if you wax your board right above the wheel you'll be less likely to die the next time your wheel rubs your board this is why you can't kick foot so if you're having trouble getting your front foot back on the board film yourself and see how you are flicking are you flicking out or down because if you're flicking down it's going to be a million times harder to get your front foot back on top of the board versus if you were to flick out and keep your front foot above the board at all times the secret to backside 50 50s if you stand at a slight angle and just hop on the ledge like you're going to get into a back 50 50 and then do an ollie without your board before doing it with one it will be a lot easier to figure out how to get into it if you were to ride up to a board slide at a 45 degree angle the momentum is going to want to carry you over the rail a little bit and slow you down because your momentum is trying to carry you more over the rail than with the rail so the more parallel you can ride up to a board slide the easier it's going to be to slide if you take a rock or some paint and mark the board where you want to flick not only are you going to get a more consistent flick because now you have a spot to aim but your tricks are going to look much better and feel much better too